I am making Jamaican drops, coconut drops. So this is the the coconut I'm cooking. The lens is um, tearing up there. So you cut up the coconut. This is it. You cut up the coconut and you put ginger, ginger to taste, and brown sugar. And um, it's a dry coconut. Uh, I get to find out that the coconut here in America is not like the coconut in Jamaica. And the coconut in Jamaica is dry on the tree. And when you um, take it out, the hawks and all that thing, it's a big fat meat, you know, big plump meat. Here, the coconut has thin meat because they pick it green, put it down to dry, and then when you buy it at the store, I bought it at Publix and Walmart, and I get to find out that it's rancid. You can't even drink the coconut water. It don't taste good. Um, the meat is thinner because it was young. In Jamaica, when you buy it, um, break a coconut, it's so thick, and the water in there is so sweet, you'll want to drink it. Here, I could not drink the water from the coconut because it, um, it didn't, um, it, it wasn't sweet and it was, it was stale or sour and wasn't, you know. But anyway, this is the, um, the, um, the drops, coconut drops. I'm making it um, saute. I put my ginger and I put um, a stick of um, cinnamon and you put some vanilla. A lot of people don't do all that, but um, it give it a more mm to it and the ginger. I put a lot of ginger and a lot of people don't like it dark. I like it. I like it dark. Um, and um, they said you don't have to continue stirring it, but you stir so it doesn't, you know, cake around the pot and, um, um, you know, when it's done. But um, so that is um, the boiling. I'm going to let it continue boiling until it get down. Then I'm going to be continuing with the video. And then it's going to show when it's um, when to put on the, the, the... In Jamaica, we put it on banana leaf. And then, you know, but nevertheless, over here, we put it on... Um, not foil. You can put it on foil paper too. But here, we put it on... Um, uh, wax paper and, and the cookie sheet and you let it dry. So I'm going to prepare all those and then it's going to continue cooking. Okay. As you can see, it's, the water is, is depleting, is simmering down. So we got to wait until all that water uh, comes out of it and then... Um, it get real dark and the sugar starts ticking together in it. So I put like, I don't want it to really too sweet. I put like a pound of sugar or a little bit over a pound. And this is my sheet. I already prepared my sheet. One over there, one over there, because you can't put it too close. So I have, I'm, I make three sheets. I don't know if I need three sheets, um, but that's what I do. Um, you know, um, that's, that's what I do. I just want to keep stirring so it get even and the ginger go all over because I tend to find that the ginger will, um, will, um, stick to one side of it. Um, you know, especially the flat top stove, it doesn't circulate like, you know, the other stove, but nevertheless, um, I want to continue cooking until it get to where it is um, really um, start clinging together, come into like a paste, and then you put it like a spoon each time. But we will go through that and, um, and see what happens. But now it's still... Um, you don't want to put it on high fire when it's sautéing. You want the coconut to cook a little bit. And, you know, it, 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 so when you're heating the coconut, don't taste raw. You want the, the, the sugar to soak in the coconut. So when you're heating, it's done. And when it starts br br um, uh, br br browning, rather, when it starts browning, then... Um, 
then it will get a little more cooking um, while you um, while it get down to a paste. So we will continue. Okay, I still turn in here and it's still cooking. Let me dress back a little bit so I don't the camera. So it's going down, down, down. All the water is sucking out. And you see the coconut itself is getting more burn, br browner. I can't speak today. It's getting brown. So this is it right here. It's getting more darker. And the water keeps sucking out and it's getting more um, condensed. So, and uh, we Jamaican love to have um, Jamaican, we call it Dutch pot, this iron pot. In America, they call it iron pot. So, the iron pot, we cook most things in iron pot, like oxtail, curry goat, curry chicken. I don't know. We think it tastes better or it cook, it cook more better because the, the iron hold the heat and, and whatever it is. Anyway, we cook most things in that iron pot. It cooked much better to us. And um, if you don't have it, no, they're not even making these iron pot like that anymore. A lot of them I've seen, and um, they are thinner. I can't even, uh, I wanted another one, a smaller one to this. And I, I have a huge one in this one. I want a smaller one. And, um, and they are so thin. Um, even the big one I have is thin, but this one I bought over 30 years ago at um, a, a, a store that used to be in Broward named Extra when it came out. It was in um, Miami and then they moved to Fort Lauderdale and they were selling and I saw the pot and I think I paid about maybe 25, 20 or 25 dollars for it back then. Um, and it's really heavy. It's iron. It's uh, you know, it's really nice. It's like the ones we have in Jamaica. I didn't bring this from Jamaica. Next time I go there, I'm going to see if I can get one. But um, um, it, it is um, it is very nice if you have one of those. Um, I've never cooked it in any other pot, you know, so I can't say cook it in any other pot. Maybe it can. They have some good pot nowadays that you can cook in. I don't know if oh, it's going to come out in other pot, if it's going to burn, because, you know, when it get down to the caramel part of it, when it all coming together, then it um, it's it going to need a strong pot, like the iron pot um, for the caramel, or when it, you know, uh, the coming together of it. So I don't know how that will work. But um, you can try it and let me know. Shoot me a comment in the comment section. Let me know if um, how it works. Um, you know if it if it worked very well, and um, you know we will see what happened. And I upload this video, and um, you know you can um, tell me your thought about making the Jamaican drops. Um, I have banana tree in the back. I was going to try one of the banana leaves like we used to put it on. But you have to um, crail it, we call it. Put it over the eat and let it get a little softer. And then you cut out the vein of the banana tree. I mean the banana leaf. And then, um, you know, you just drop it on there. And it get, when it gets cool, you just pop it right off. So, you know, you know, desperate measures call for desperate things. Um, you know, so when you don't have, um, you know, things that we are so fortunate to have here in America or in Canada or in England or wherever you live, then, you know, excuse me, you have to, um, you have to improvise the things that you, you, you wanted to do, you know, that's what you do, you got to improvise, so... And then you, you, you don't have what you need because I make it a lot of time on, on, on banana leaf. And sometimes we don't even have banana because I'm in Kingston. We go to neighbor house who have banana or some banana leaf and beg a leaf a banana. It's not like up here people don't, you know, in Jamaica people are friendly people. You know, you get things from neighbor and neighborly. Up here you don't know your neighbor. You don't know who they are. They don't look at you. I have one who is killing me next door, but 
That's what it is. So I'm going to put it, um, we're going to come back to this a little bit, let it keep boiling. It continue getting down, uh, what the caramelize, caramelize. So we're getting real, all the water is going out now slowly. Um, but um, we're getting, getting there. So all the water is getting out of it and getting down to the sugar. When you get to the sugar now, the sugar part, then you can put it on the thing, you know, a spoon at a time. And then, you know, so it's getting there. And we are getting there with our coconut drops. Jamaican coconut drops. You see, it's getting to the wire now. So, you see, it getting the caramel, sugar just turning to caramel. And, um... Getting that's when you're going to be able to put it on the sheet and it will be able to stick together. So, at this point, I'm going to be turning it so it doesn't burn because the sugar will catch on the stove. Um, I mean, we'll catch in the pot. So, I keep turning because all the water is going out now and it's only the sugar turning into caramel so you can get to. Um, um, put it together. So it's coming up now that the sugar is all there that is uh, turning into caramel so you can get it to stick so we have to keep turning it. So it's going to keep browning and browning so it's um, so it's get together. And I was wondering how the ginger and the ginger is in the sugar and it cooked and it tastes so good i wish you could taste this this is awesome i'm getting ready to drop it now so it, it really tastes so good it tastes so good it tastes so good so now the uh the water is actually all gone i'm just letting it get a little more stick together and then the water is almost all gone and the sugar is there bringing it together so when you put it on the sheet um, it all stick together and you can see how it just brown and brown and keep browning and the longer you let it stay on the fire the browner it gets because the sugar just working its way in and um, and it get browner and browner the longer it's there. Um, I'm going to drop a couple of it um, soon. So it's um, you will have some of the light one and some of the darker one. So the longer it stay on the fire, uh, the darker it gets. So this one, I'll put a little. Of the clear one on the sheets and there you go you drop it like that and that's one of them uh -huh. and you drop another one like that bring it together so it's um, and that's how you put it together like that like cookie like when you're making cookie you know call this the Jamaican cookie so it's uh, you drop it just like when you're making cookie so that's what you do maybe i won't even need all those if i'm making it that big but um just by like making jamaican cookie and it comes together it, it just comes together you know when we were children i know we were making that we were there anytime it's scatter out we were there picking up this scatter one from our parents so this is um this is what it is right here um so i have six on one sheet um i will turn to the other sheet and put and see how much can hold in this one i'll put a couple but it's um it really getting down to the wire in the pot because it's almost done so I have to hurry now because it smells like it's going to burn. 
so you don't want it to burn. So I guess I'm going to be using all my, um, so you see I'm dropping it very fast because it's getting smelly a little bit over there. You can turn the stove off. Yeah, so that's it there. I do six, almost six again, and this sheet. So this is it there, and that, um, uh, the drop-in. And I do the other little that left here, about two or three, and this sheet. So that's it. You see, it gets so sticky. See? Yeah. It sticks to the, 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 the spoon while you're doing it. Okay, it sticks to the spoon. Make a little one right here. It sticks to everything right there. And if that sugar, if it burns you, honey, if that sugar burn you. Wait a minute there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, if that sugar burn you, that really burn you, because it sticks to you for a while. It's very, very uh, caramelly, so um, if that's a word. Um, so by the time you get to it, it's all stick. So when it's on the spoon, you got to use another spoon or something to take it off the spoon because it's... Um, I have to put the phone down so so it burn so this is my Jamaican uh, coconut drops I'm trying to bring it together so it takes about maybe 20 minutes or uh, whatever to cool I I don't know I, I you know when it's cool together for you then uh, whenever time but you know to bring it together and make it um, it, it come together there it takes that long time so i have six over there six there and i have four on the stove so two coconut and uh, with a pound of sugar that's what it gives you and that's my jamaican coconut drops this is barb molly and princey the talk with barb molly and princey please like and share my video so we can get props for it. Thank you. Have a great day. This is Jamaican Coconut Drops.